Joshua Fabia is the fucking gift that just keeps on giving to this. <laughs> the media is soaking all of this shit up. Uh, this guy's a fucking idiot, man. He's a like, tool. Just dumb. Just like. Well, he's getting, he's getting what dumb. he wants. Yeah. He's not yeah. dumb. I'm not going to say he's dumb. He's not dumb. You're right. Okay, but the fact is, that the media is buying into it. Just, just shut him down. Just stop, stop, stop interviewing him. Yeah. Don't care what? what he has to say. It's real simple. If you're going to talk to Diego, talk to Diego. This guy comes and sits down and says, excuse me, I didn't, I didn't ask for you to come into this. And when he says, well, I'm going to be here. Good. We're done. See you later. Get the fuck out. There's no reason to allow this guy to have any control over anything. You know, people would say what they want. You know, Matt Sarah's had his moments in everything. And I love Matt. But did you see the, the, the thing that he did when they were in Abu Dhabi? This guy came up to Matt. And he goes, you know, I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, that's the way it should be. You know, no one needs to know you because you're nobody. You haven't done anything. It's, it goes back to the same thing. He's, you know, all you did was take a guy that was an incredibly tough, gritty, nasty fighter, a guy that made a career off of being that guy. And it was the only way he was going to make it. And you made it so where he's lost every fight that you've ever been in his corner. Except for one where he got a DQ win. Yeah. So yeah, you're 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 just special with what you do. Now, other fighters should really start coming in. You know, you found the right guy, someone that believes in you. I, I'm sorry that Diego, you know, has that belief in you because from what I see on the outside, and I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but what you give doesn't merit the respect that that guy gives. Yeah, you, this guy's gonna, he's just ran into that whole thing. Remember the coach for Ronda Rousey? Yeah. What was Edmund. Uh, Edmund. Edmund. He kind of ran into that. Like, it's it's gonna be like where now fighters don't really want to talk. They'll never talk to you. They'll never want to train with you. But I think Edmund's working now with somebody again. Ed, Edmund's working. He's got, you know, you know, uh, Shabazian. Oh, it doesn't. You know, he's, he's the trainer for Shabazi and stuff. And, but he ran you know, into a little rough I, patch there as well during the Ronda Rousey. Oh, he he ran into a lot of rough patches. Yeah. yeah. They were making memes about head movement, head movement. No, well, he, thing, could, he couldn't win. Well, here's the thing, though. Like, when the trainers start taking up some of the limelight, Bingo. you got to get rid of them. Or you need to have a sit-down talk with them. This is not about you. And the more you say, the more pressure it puts on me as a fighter. There you go. Oh, Stay out of it. Don't yeah. talk. Just talk. If you're going to say anything, yes, of course, my fighter's the best. Da, 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 they're great. My fighter can win everywhere. That, that's that's the point. You're The trainer, that's it. Don't get into anything else. It's not your place. It's not your job. Like, we've been working these techniques. That's what I love a little bit about, like, uh, the fighters, the coaches that have been around for a long time. You know, Greg Jackson's Bob Cook is brilliant at it. He says this much. <laughs> He's, yeah, he had a good camp. Feels great. Ready to go. Like, that's it. That's all you got to say. Like, it's not about you. And it will never, it will never be about you. That's the well, other it, it will be about you to a point. It will. Okay, because when your fighter continues to do well, people are going to start to look and go, wow, what is going on here that made this fighter so good? Well, it's this guy. And, the, and, and you're going to get some, you'll get some shine. Okay, take that shine. Understand what it's, you know, going to do for you. But put everything back into hey i don't step inside of the cage my guy does if i can do things in the back in the gym that help him you know do his thing when he's out here that's all that i care about yeah and that's the way that's where it ends yeah they like there's there's fighter like trevor whitman henry hooft very rarely do you hear them say a whole lot eric nitzer Eric Nixon, exactly, perfect example. Perfect very rarely example. do you hear them say a lot. You know, they're very quiet. They're very humble. They talk about their guys or their, and their female fighters. Yep. How great they are, and then that's it. That's all. Let the let the fighting do the talking. You know, let your fighter do all the talking with all the things that you guys have been working on. And if the fighter if it, if the fighter has success, it, it like you said, it shines back onto them. How much do you hear Mike Brown say? Fuck! I can't, I can't even pull words out of that guy. <laughs> like, hey, what's up, buddy? Like, hey, Josh, nice to see you. That's, hey, Josh, that's how you doing? Conversation. 
Hey, brother, like things are good. Yeah, great. Camp was great. Like it, you're like, I'm trying to pull things out of you so I can talk about your fighter. That's yep. it. He's he's brilliant, man. Mike yep. Brown. And I, I love Mike Brown. Mike Brown's a perfect example. He's a he's yeah, he's a, a classic example of someone that just l- lets his fighters the the work that his fighters do and let that be the talking. You know, and the coaches will they'll like you said they'll get their shine, but they'll sure. get based off of their fighters' performances. Yeah, but see, they get their shine based upon just what you said, their fighters' performances, and they deserve that. But when you are getting something based upon, well, it's obviously not what you're doing for your fighter. Your fighter hasn't won with you. So what's the real reason that you're getting anything here? Oh, you're a weirdo. You're a guy that is creating problems. You're the one trying to make things all of a sudden seem like there's something going on. You're you're basically the conspiracy theorist. Congratulations. Go step outside and walk off a short dock. John, these guys are everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Look, the, look at these are the same guys that have that fucking... That, these are the same guys slipping into your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> but the, these these guys, they there's a whole uh, Instagram page dedicated to these fucking knuckleheads. What is it called? It's called the Kung Fu... I've never what seen that. No, no, no. It's the... The dojo, the what is it called? Oh, McDojo. McDojo. He, oh, he's awesome. I've he's done gotta, some of it. He's got to be a McDojo owner. That's what oh, he yeah. is. This guy's one of those guys. He's got the death. Like what uh, Cowboy was talking about. Like he said something about the death punch. Oh Jesus! Remember? And then they. Oh, trust me, I got called on that. <laughs> I had the. I actually look at this thing. All right, I want to fucking punch him in the head. What are you doing? <laughs> he's he's got Diego upside down, and he's. Hitting him with little tiny shots in the face. He's kicking, you know, and you can tell his his incredible style. Look at that kick, Josh. Look at that. Oh, wow, that's really good. Man, this is on the McDojo channel. Okay. There you because go. it's oh. whack. Yeah. It's absolutely whack, and I don't know what you know Diego is doing by allowing him to do that, but, you know, you, you see some of these people and you go, you're just a fraud. But how did how did it get to this point though, John? Where Diego's allowing this? Isn't this guy's thing the the, the something the school of self awareness or something like this? This guy is the least aware some bitch I've ever seen. It's but but how did it get to this point? How did it get to the point that Diego was allowing this guy? It's to- just that well, you know, it's what whatever Diego saw in him, you know. And I, I don't know. And it's none of my business, but. The fact that Diego has some clout with media and that people want to know about him. This guy is tied to him. He, you know, he just gets drug along. For the first time in my life, I'm going to say I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm embarrassed that my name is Joshua. <laughs> I didn't, I'm embarrassed. Damn, I, I wish I had picked that up.